Can you hear me now? Yes, but we're not talking about those Verizon wireless commercials. The Smithsonian Institute's National Museum of American History announced this week they've identified the voice of Alexander Graham Bell for the first time on one of the oldest audio recordings to date. It may be tough to hear Bell's voice there, but the recording was made on a wax and cardboard disc 128 years ago. Researchers found it with a note with the initials AGB and the date April 15, 1885. Bell invented the telephone in 1876, nine years before the recording was created. So why was he experimenting with what were essentially CDs made of wax? And how can we even play a cardboard and wax disc? Researchers at the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory used a jointly developed technique from 2002 which scans the disc and creates a high-resolution digital map of it. That digital map is then processed to try and remove any scratches or skips before it's exposed to a software that simulates the movement of a stylus along with the grooves of the disc, like a virtual record player. Researchers are then left with the audio content in a standard digital sound file. The museum's director says this technology will allow them to further their understanding of the late 19th century. Not only will this discovery allow us to further identify recordings in our collection, it enriches what we know about the late 1800s, who spoke, what they said, how they said it, and this formative period for experimentation of sound. While the museum also identified the voice of Bell's father from an 1881 recording, it still has more than 200 recordings in its collection that have not yet been analyzed. For Newsy, I'm Candace Aviles.